Good luck to him. Now for years, clothes moths have waged war on our wardrobes, feasting on our favourite frocks and jumpers. But now they also pose a threat to the very fabric of fine furnishings in some of London's historic buildings. Our reporter Alpa Patel is at Elton Palace to tell us more. Alpa. Yes, Louisa, welcome to uh, Elton Palace, which dates back to the medieval age. It's also home to this magnificent uh, ceiling here and uh, lots of interesting exhibits and fabrics, as you can see, lots of rugs and carpets. But a squatter has uh, moved in and it's causing lots of damage here. It's the clothes moth. And uh, last year, the clothes moth actually tripled in number. One woman who knows all about this infestation is Rebecca Bennett. Rebecca, why have we seen seen this increase in the clothes moth here? Well, we think it's a combination of factors, including um, perhaps temperatures rising uh, in our homes and also perhaps outside, but also the fact that pesticides are a lot less toxic these days, which is good for humans, but means that um, the moths uh, are not eradicated as effectively anymore. And Rebecca, I think we can go over to this table here and have a look at this uh, Victorian gun case where the moths have been munching away. Give us a, a little demonstration. Absolutely. Well, I'm pleased to say that this is historic damage, um, but if I lift the lid here, you can see that the felt has been well and truly decimated, really, by, by the moth. So this is the type of damage that can be done to an object if you're not really on top of the issue. But it's not actually the moth causing the damage, is it? It's the larvae. No, you're quite right. By the time you see a moth flying, it's almost too late, unfortunately. No, so it's the, the larvae that burrow, um, well, the, the eggs are laid within the fabrics and they burrow their way out, eating as they go. So that's the problem, it's the larvae. Rebecca, if you were to leave this infestation, what would happen to Elton Palace? Well, we know from studies um, and previous experience that within 12 months we would see decimation of the collection at that kind of scale. So it's a really, really important programme of conservation housekeeping and pest monitoring. Tell us more about that because you're actually having a good old fight of the clothes moths, aren't you? Yeah, we are indeed. So um, the properties are now just fully reopened at English Heritage across London and across, across England as well because over the winter we have been really fighting them. So we do this every year and it's a very, very deep winter clean. We remove all the objects, we clean underneath them, we check them and we put them back so we know we have uh, no damage. We also trap using traps so we can get a sense of the scale of the problem. And you've got something that you want the public's help with, haven't you? Absolutely. So today we're launching Operation Clothes Moth. Um, so we would like the public to come to our sites to pick up a free trap. So all English heritage sites that are manned across London, so that's 10 sites, have these traps available. So come along, pick one up, take it home, pop it out in your own home and then go to the website to find out exactly how you can help us map the scale and the scope of the problem. Rebecca Bennett, thank you very much for being with us. Well, uh, did you know that one moth can lay up to 300 eggs over three weeks? So it can be a real problem. And uh, I was speaking to one pest control company who said they've seen an increase in call-outs in uh, just everyday people's homes. So if you find a hole in your clothes or in your carpet, it's very likely you have an infestation. Back to you, Louisa. Oh, Alper, the thought of it. I don't like it. Thanks very much for that. Lovely.